इसलिए मुझे लगता है जो गुजरात मॉडल हम देश के सामने भी रख रहा है वो भी एक्सेप्ट हो रहा है तो आई कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट मैं गुजरात के लोगों को भी कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट करता हूँ गुजरात के भारतीय जनता पार्टी के यूनिट को भी कॉन्ग्रेच करता हूँ हमारे कार्यकर्ता को कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट करता हूँ दिस इज वन ऑफ द एवर बिगेस्ट रिकॉर्ड हिस्ट्री हिंदी इलेक्शन में BJP in particular are inside the house because it's going to begin in another half an hour by then numbers would have settled more or less but Nitin Tyagi jis tarah se aapne chunav lada Gujarat mein you have entered the uh, the leader board what about Himachal kya aapko lagta hai ki agar maidan mein rehte to kuch kar pate can't say about Himachal the leaders must have actually uh, felt something that uh, we cannot uh, you know exert our energies too much and we cannot uh, you know uh, divert our attention from gujarat obviously the kind of a, uh, response that we were getting from gujarat and with the mcd elections in delhi uh, we cannot uh, you know divide our uh, resources we have a very small party that's one of the smallest parties and we have been able to make a big impression in gujarat thanks to the people of gujarat we cannot thank them enough actually and thanks to people of gujarat we would now be your your party, party president and party president in gujarat a, seems to have been rejected for our party your party president uh, in gujarat seems to have been rejected but your chief ministerial face isudan gadhvi seems to be holding on to his lead zaka so quick check cutter gam gopal italia is trailing varacha was the other seat where the aap was hopeful that they would be able to mm. make an inroad there again alpesh kathariya of the aam aadmi party both parties are candidates by the way and and mm. aap did well in surat mm. so the whole hype around aap was around the surat belt but not a single seat out of the nine so, so they're getting bjp is pulled varacha BJ, out yeah yeah bjp yeah, so is they were leading hopeful both of pulling varacha, varacha back as well as in cutter gam both in cutter gam and in varacha the bjp is leading I'm just going to check on Isudan Gadvi seat. Isudan Gadvi is still uh, leading in Khambalia. This is in Saurashtra, of course. Mm. Uh, and I'm still checking mm. Jamnagar North, by the way. Jamnagar mm. North is still uh, the AAP candidate there is leading. Rivaba Jadeja is trailing. I don't know if it will hold, but as of now, for the last 20 minutes or so, Rivaba Jadeja has been trailing in Jamnagar North. Uh, one more AAP seat has opened up again in uh, Jamjodhpur. This is again, they're Double all very close up. by. This is all in the Jamnagar belt, as it were, in Jamjodhpur. uh hemant bhai ahir of the aam aadmi party is leading so in saurashtra itself if you look at it 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 seats out of the 10 that the aam aadmi party is leading in six of them are from saurashtra and mm. saurashtra is where the congress swept last time around because of the party dar agitation what is working in saurashtra for aap is not working in surat so it's 20 mm. years of governance 12 years as the chief minister of the state 8 years as the prime minister which was being discussed in gujarat and zaka all these bends i have been around in gujarat the the running theme was sab cheez acha hai a general sense of happiness was there and it is reflecting in the numbers it's with unbelievable the, 149 150 if the bjp yes. ends up with it is unbelievable i don't think in the history of india uh, maybe the left in bengal and but even the left in bengal in the fag end of the last 5 7 10 years they were losing majorities they were losing their seat <clears> share and vote share for a party to be in power for almost 30 years in a state and then come back with a historic mandate number. a mandate that the state has never seen in the last 50 60 years of its existence that is unbelievable a quick word from nalan because nalan's covered uh, the state uh, uh, before we go back to anand An- uh, uh, nalan 149 is where gujarat is uh, bjp gujarat is at right now it's an unbelievable statistic for me uh, absolutely zaka i mean uh, if if these numbers hold it's going to be the biggest victory in gujarat since uh, uh, since the congress triumph of 1985 which was the greatest triumph in Gu- in gujarat before that uh, i think what is really striking to me is if there are two stories in this election it is that one the bjp has uh, it is not only benefiting from the division of the opposition vote its own vote share has increased so that i think is story number one in this election um, and which is a remarkable achievement the second story is that the aap is breaking into congress uh, vote banks um, but not in urban areas in rural areas and in tribal areas um, if you look at the the urban map of gujarat uh, the three big cities uh, the bjp is sweeping them uh, and the congress is is got a, a, just a couple of seats there but if you look at the rural map of gujarat 
that's where the AAP is making those inroads uh, into the into the Congress bastions, the erstwhile Congress bastions, uh, right. to, to be All more right. accurate, um, wh wh where it is crossing a threshold Absolutely. to, to we, win some seats. Absolutely, we've got a moment, so I quickly want to savor this. Uh, Zaka and Maka and Maria, let's just bring in our robotic arm and then paint this picture. If these numbers hold with the Congress at 19, the, uh, the BJP at 149, same score, as Madhav Singh Solanki, how will the Gujarat Assembly look? Now, there you go. The, the robots have come in. Yeah, there you go. Chaliye, bhai. <clears throat> Chaliye, set. Let's go up. Ha, aram se. Yeah, this is too far. Here's how I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Okay, let, let, let's quickly focus on this. The beautiful data dome right behind me. And let's just open this out. Uh, lovely. And there you go. That's the whole spread as it will come through. And it's all the 182 seats, large part of it, way beyond the halfway mark is all colored saffron. Just look at this, ladies and gentlemen, all colored saffron. 147 is the number that it shows right now. It should go up, not down, and it will hover, flirt between this 145 to 150 number. But look at the dominance that the BJP will have in the Gujarat Assembly. Will there be an expansion of cabinet, a rejig, some of these winners, will they come in? But more importantly, what becomes the national narrative then? For the Congress party, for the AAP, if the AAP breaks into double digits, will it then claim psychologically that it has replaced the Congress as the principal opposition party in Gujarat. Big story there because now the AAP can call itself a national party because it's there in four states. It's there in Goa, it'll be there in Gujarat, it's there in Delhi and of course it's in power in Punjab. So that's the big question. If the Congress is at 19, can it claim anything at all? So this story of Gujarat is purely about the BJP's dominance and reign and it also sets the tone for 2024. Himachal, whether or not the BJP retains notwithstanding, if it retains in this current scenario at 31 and 4 rebels and 33, that's a different story. But this, this ladies and gentlemen, is phenomenal, it's historic. And the world will have to sit up and take notice what Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his team have been able to achieve after 25 years of being in power in Gujarat as a political party and also the, uh, PM Modi as the chief minister earlier. So this is, this is just the story that everybody will be talking about. A case study in itself, a 4% if not more increase in vote share. What does that talk about? Phenomenal and across the board. Across the board sweep, that's what's happened. Not just one, two pockets of Gujarat which has sh shouldered the BJP. It's just blanket sweep across the board, decimating the opposition. Let's just go back down to Zaka and Maria and take this story forward, ladies and gentlemen. And then, then, there we go. We're coming down All right. slowly. This Let me just get back. This is complete dominance, my Zaka. This is complete yeah. dominance in Absolutely. politics of the state of Gujarat. Yeah. Something that has never happened in yeah. any state of India. I just have one update. Yeah. I'm waiting for the forklift to go. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, Rivaba Jadeja back in the lead, folks. Uh, in Jamnagar North, she's now leading. Uh, her nearest candidate opponent, of course, is the Amadmi Party candidate. She was trailing for about half an hour or so. But just in the last couple of minutes, as Anand was being forklifted up, uh, she's now come back into the lead in Jamnagar. Go back to 